here in Lagos concerns over the activities of pipeline vandals and oil theft on the Atlas Cove, as well as communities on the NMPC's right of way, has remained a source of worry for authorities. The flag officer commanding a Western Naval Command, Rear Admiral Oladile Daji, who also doubles as the commander of Operation Kurombe, with the mandate of fighting off these criminals, led newsmen into the sites of demolished illegal structures spreading into the Atlas Cove for an on-the-spot assessment. According to him, it is time to end the menace once and for all. Victor Mbadike was there and now reports. ...into these crisscross communities have become a shadow of itself following the demolition exercise by the military on illegal structures. Until now, these demolished structures had served as decoy deliberately built on petroleum pipelines to steal petrol. The operation also led to the discovery of hundreds of manholes and wells dug from where they siphon petrol into jerrycans, which smuggle out to neighboring countries. Yeah. See, the name, see the name of the owner here. Now, here is an example of where these jerrycans are stored after freely siphoned uh, from uh, the underground. Uh, it doesn't look good at all. Even the plants could not survive the terror on its own habitat. Sad enough, the security posts manned by private guards contracted by NNPC to guard these pipelines haven't really served their purpose. Whether or not they leave fat on these illegal activities is a story for another day. Only a handful of residents were met at the popular Takwa Bay, a living community, and would dare turn down interviews with the media. They stopped by the renewed sabotage on NMPC pipelines. The commander of Operation Kurumbe vows to end the menace once and for all. We are entering the stabilization phase and that is to ensure sustenance of presence, adequate presence, both at the waterfront and also on the island. So I want to say never again will we allow them to um, perpetrate the kind of acts of economic sabotage that they are perpetrating against this country. Those that have their permit will remain, but those that don't have permit will have to leave. At 145 naira per litre pump price, the country loses 108.75 million naira for every 30,000 jerrycans the vandals successfully moved per operation. With several billions of naira worth of petroleum products lost to vandals, it remains to be seen how relevant stakeholders solve this conundrum. From Lagos, Victor Badike, STV News.